I like to think of improvement in its simplest and easiest forms. So today I'm gonna give you the only nine training packs you need for SSL mechanics. Now it's not like these are the only ways to improve, but hopefully I can show you what to prioritize to get better results. Disclaimer, since I'm peak GC3, I can guarantee these nine packs are all you need to get GC3. But to get SSL, well, I'm still working on it. To make up for it, I'm gonna share two bonus GC Plus training packs I've added to my routine as of last week that if you're advanced watching, like me, should get you SSL. Okay, that's the intro, but for anyone ranked champ, diamond, or platinum watching, let me tell you about our video sponsor, the Grand Champ Bootcamp. The GCB is Rocket League's largest and most proven training program designed to take platinum through champ ranked players, maybe like you watching, up to Grand Champ in 90 days time. To qualify, you must have minimum 200 in-game hours. You have to be at least platinum and you must be a PC player to take full advantage of all the training resources. You'll instantly gain access to a network of over 3,000 competitive players and you'll also be given a skills assessment to test you and match you with a one-on-one -on -one coach that's gonna help you achieve your biggest Rocket League goals, hopefully in just 12 weeks time. So if you're ranked platinum through champ, DM the GCB Discord account with the keyword train to speak with a program expert and see if you might qualify. I'll have their Discord first link below. That's keyword train. And let's get into the training packs. Okay, training packs. And before you guys rail me in the comments with Luke, is any single training pack mandatory? Well, no. Even if you can't do one training pack, you can almost always find an alternative that's just about as good. And what I want you to start doing today is instead of thinking about training packs as good or bad, start to think of your training in types. I think it's better to think about types of Rocket League mechanics or types of Rocket League movements rather than specific mechanics. Let let me explain. From my experience, there are roughly six core types of mechanics you'll use to get 95% of your results in ranked. These are what I'm going to call the core movements. Number one, shooting. Number two, dribbling. Number three, recoveries. Number four, wall play. This includes the sidewalls, backboard, and ceiling. Number five, aerial car control. And finally, number six, backwards movement. This is backward saves, shadow defense, etc., etc. Now, the reason I like to think about it like this is because you can fit almost any training pack into one of these categories. And to be honest with you, if you're below Grand Champ watching right now, you could probably get away with cutting the last two categories and still get 80% of your ranked results. But if we're being honest here, yes, you could get away with zero aerial car control, but that's no fun. We all want to do the cool stuff. And number two, you could get away with zero backwards play and just play back post and be super offensive. But if you ever do get caught in a one-on-one -on -one and you don't know how to do a backwards save, Bruh. you're going to look like this guy in my rank match yesterday. You just don't want to be that guy. So just do a little bit of backwards saves, even if you don't like to, just because I said so. All right, now that you understand the six types of Rocket League movements, I'm gonna split up this training pack list into those types. We're gonna have two shooting, one dribbling, one recovery, two wall play, two aerial car control, and then something to train your backwards movement with a few special mentions throughout and those two bonus packs, like I said, at the end. Let's get started. Training pack number one, Kevpert's ones shots. This is not the first time you will see Kevpert on this list. Kevpert is, if I had to pick, probably one of the best, if not a top three guide maker and advice YouTuber in this game. The reason Kevpert's ones shots pack is so good is because every shot has a setup that feels like an in-game situation. Instead of just being, you know, past a center ball and having to score it, which is hard for most of us, the even better thing about Kevpert's ones shots is that you'll often have to set up the ball from your side of the field or start a bounce dribble or use power slide to change the direction of the ball before you take your shot. In my opinion, this part of shooting is the part that 90% of people below Grand Champ neglect. And when you think about shooting, you don't actually think about the chip or the bounce dribble or the setup that leads to it. So just like you can't air dribble without getting a good first touch, it's hard to get a good shot if you kill your bounce dribble and have a really bad setup. That's why Kevpert's one shots is absolutely essential. If you can get all 50 shots in this pack at high speed, you will blow through platinum and diamond and ranked. I guarantee it. Number 
Number two, air roll shots. This pack is going to cover all of those awkward angles that you see in ranked, but probably only can hit 50% of the time. The reason this air roll shots pack is so important is because below Grand Champ, half of what you need to do to rank up is just hit your shots more consistently and place them better. Air roll shots is going to teach you how to not just hit your shots from weird angles, but hit them with power and accuracy that people at the lower ranks won't be ready for. Before we move on to dribbling, honorable mention for those of you on PC. I know this isn't a training pack, but I couldn't not mention Aim Training by Coco. And for those of you who don't know, the thing you see on screen right now, it's a workshop map called Aim Training by Coco. As good as Kevpert's one shots and arrow shots is, the truth is, if I only had one shooting training drill and I had to cut out all the rest, and you might look at this and think, you know, this looks easy. I'm too good for Aim Training by Coco. But if that's you, I suggest trying this pack and seeing if you can get more than a streak of five, because if it's your first time ever doing this pack, I don't think I've ever known somebody that got a streak of more than five. If you can, send me a DM on Instagram and uh, I'll like it and I don't know, give you a cookie or something. Pack number three, Three, we're going to move on to the dribbling section. I want you to train catch and control dribble. The reason this pack is so beneficial is because it trains the part of dribbling that all of us mess up in game, which is the actual catch. You know, we all want to go into free play and put the ball in our car and practice flicks. But the truth is that's step two. Two, the reason you always get dunked and you can't set up dribbles in game is because you're not good at step one, which is actually catching the ball, controlling it, and setting up a dribble quickly. If you don't believe me, try out this pack five minutes a day, and I guarantee your catches will transform in just three or four days of training. Honorable mention number two, if you're closer to Diamond Champ or even Grand Champ, you should know about the workshop map called Dribble 2 Overhaul. This map is an absolute staple in the Grand Champ boot camps training programs. And while I wish I could sit here and tell you console players that there's an alternative, free play is just not as good as this workshop map. You know how rings is the best way to train aerial car control? Well, in a lot of ways, Dribble 2 Overhaul is the best way to train carries. So if you have access to Dribble Challenge 2 or any of the other Dribble Challenge maps and you're not doing these workshop maps, you know, you're just missing out. These maps will take a long time to master, but if you do Dribble Challenge 2 for 30 days consistently, record it and send me your transformation because I guarantee you will 10x your dribbling. With workshop maps, there's literally no way you can't improve, so had to give an honor will mention Dribble Challenge 2. Now, on to training pack number four, I was going to give you a recovery map, but I talked with the head coach over at the GCB. His name's Coach Curtis, for those of you that may know him. And we decided that for recoveries, there's really no single training pack that is best. Instead, for recoveries, Curtis says he finds the best results just using free play for recoveries. The truth is, when it comes to wave dashes and half flips and speed flips, yeah, you could create a training pack just designed for those things, but really you should be adding your recoveries into every mechanic. You know, whether it's a bounce dribble or an aerial attack, the recovery is what comes after the mechanic. So for that reason, the best way to train recoveries is to first practice just the mechanic by itself. So, you know, make sure you can half flip, make sure you can wave dash, make sure you can speed flip in free play. But then as soon as you get the mechanic by itself down, then the best way to train is to just add it before and after all your other mechanics. So go into arrow shots, for example, that I just gave you. And before every aerial shot, do a wave dash or go into a wall play pack that I'll show you in a second. And after every wall shot, make sure you recover onto the backboard and are holding power side. This is the best way to train recoveries because it will mimic in-game situations and it will help you cement the recovery into your muscle memory. That way you can do it without thinking. Honorable mention for recoveries though, if you're more advanced, once you get done with free play, the best way to train advanced recoveries is a map called Hornet's Nest by DMC. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just this cage map that you're seeing on screen. And the reason Hornet's Nest is the best recovery map is just because the size of the map you're in is small. And so it forces you to recover quicker and challenge you more than you would be in free play or, you know, in game even. So if you want to train advanced recoveries, Hornet's Nest is your best way to go. Oh, and by the way, codes and links for all of these packs and maps that I'm listing are in the description. Bookmark this video or save it to your watch for later so you can come down and access these packs whenever you want. Or just join my free training 
Discord because I make Discord posts all the time and all of these packs and more are accessible for free in the Discord. Plus, if you get annoyed by me pinging about when a new YouTube video drops, you can just mute it in the Discord and then go scroll and download all the packs and training stuff for free. So shamelessly, join the Discord and on to number four. Section number four, wall shots. The first pack you need to try for wall shots is Paquito's 50 wall shots pack. The reason I think Paquito's wall shots pack is the best for new players because it has a shot for every speed, every distance, and every height on the wall that you're going to see below SSL. The problem is if you just try to improve wall shots and free play or ranked, you're not going to cover all your situations and then you're going to get in game and you're going to miss shots just because you've never seen them before. So if you're one to backflip off your wall or just always send the ball wide of the net like me, Paquito's 50 wall shots, an absolute must learn for your wall movements. And then number two, for more advanced wall shots, I want to give you a pack called Aerial Off Wall. The reason Aerial Off Wall is such a good pack is because all the setups in this pack are slightly further off the wall and match up with what you'll probably see more times in Ranked. As good as Paquito's 50 wall shots pack is, it's mostly shots that are all on the wall. And when you get to ranked, the way you're really gonna get faster than everybody else is by using the wall to go for aerials when other people are just taken off off the ground. So aerial off wall is gonna help combine your wall play mechanics with your aerial mechanics and is an absolute must train pack to favorite. Moving on to aerial car control. Since I gave you free play for recoveries, you may have noticed with the counter we're doing, I'm gonna give you three aerial car control packs as a little bonus. Pack number one, Kevpert aerial car control. This is sort of the core foundation pack that if you're plat or diamond, please don't skip before you move on to the next section. The reason Kevpert's aerial car control back is the best for beginners, in my opinion, is because the shots aren't moving. And the mistake I think a lot of newbie players make when they're trying to learn aerials is they try to skip steps. You know the old saying, you have to walk before you can run? With aerial car control, it's the same. You need to be able to fly forwards and fly upside down and fly sideways before you can expect to hit crazy ceiling redirects. So before we move on to any more advanced packs, this is the aerial car control pack that got me up to like champ before I even touch anything else. Go into Kevpert's aerial car control and practice hitting all these shots upright backwards and then both sides in the air before you move on to the two next aerial car control packs and you're going to master your aerial car control twice as fast as everybody else who's trying to skip steps aerial car control pack number seven i'm going to give you double tap Playground by Whey Protein. Whey Protein is one of the most popular training pack creators for a reason, and I think Double Tap Playground is probably his most famous pack. The reason Double Tap Playground is so useful is not because you're actually going to be using double taps that much in game, but more so because doing this pack is going to get you so much better at your aerial car control, your air roll, and not just that, but your reads off the back wall. So even though I'll be honest with you, you're probably not going to score many if any double taps in your games, you know, the first week after you do this pack, if you do this pack for a week or two, I guarantee you will see an increase in your car control and your speed in the air. So double tap playground, essential aerial training pack. And then finally, I had to give you one air dribble pack. So training pack number eight, I'm going to give you Seabell's air dribble mastery. The reason I think Seabell's is the best is because it includes more than just the wall setups. We all love a cookie cutter, you know, free play side boost wall to air dribble setup, but what's going to get you better faster and what's going to help you score way more than those wall to air dribbles is your ground to air dribbles, your backboard to air dribbles, and all those other awkward air dribble setups that most air dribble packs just don't train. So Seabill's air dribble training pack has 10 shots that, yeah, will help you with walled air dribbles, but also all the other air dribble setups, you know, from the ground and in the air. That way, when you get in game, you'll be a threat from all all over the field. Last honorable mention, before we move on, I want to shout out Rings Maps for those of you who are on PC. Maybe I'll change my mind on this later. Hopefully it doesn't get clipped in a YouTube short. Probably will. But if I had to pick one way to train and I had to cut out every single thing, I could only pick one thing, you know, and it's not free play. The single workshop map I would pick without a doubt is Lethemir's Rings. There's no better map that will train your aerial car control and that will last you as long as Lethemir's Rings. You see, improvement is all about continuing to challenge yourself. I went on Squishy stream last week and I asked him what he does to continue to improve. And what he told me was the only way to continue to improve in 
a game like Rocket League is to continue to challenge yourself. And I think the problem that I've fallen into in the last couple months and that maybe you relate to is as we get better, we tend to like to stick to the same things. You know, we all have our routines. We all have our favorite training packs. We all have the stuff in free play that we go and do. And even when we get better at Rocket League, we keep doing the same thing we did yesterday. But if you want to improve, going back to what Squishy was saying, you have to keep challenging yourself. And that doesn't mean you have to do a new training pack every day, but it means your training needs to be hard. No matter what you're training, I don't care if you use the training packs I gave you in this video, or if you go use Waitens or Thanavix or Seabells or whoever else is, the key that's going to help you most over the long run is just continuing to challenge yourself. And you know what? Even though I said these are must-do training packs, if you go into your training packs and you find that these aren't challenging you and another pack challenges you more, well, then the right answer is whatever works best for you. So a little bit of a tangent there, but bringing it back, the reason I wanted to shout out Rings is because it's one of the only maps that gets more difficult as you go and will still be difficult even for, you know, a grand champ level player. And lastly, on to training pack number nine, the last movement you're going to train, a pack called Why You Suck at Shadow Defense or Backward Saves. The reason I had to include this pack on the list is not because you're going to like it, but because it's going to help you. I get it. We all want to practice the redirect training packs and the aerial training packs and even the shooting training packs, but none of us want to practice the defensive ones because yeah, they're boring. But if you can do the training packs that nobody else is doing, well, you're going to get the results and you're going to get the skills that nobody else has at your rank. So backward saves training packs, try this for three or four days. And I promise you, if you're below GC, people at your rank will just not be able to score on you. Okay, as the bonus for those of you who made it to this point in the video, if you want those two extra training packs that I'm using now to hopefully get SSL in the next six months, the place you can find them is in a video I made last week. It's at the very, very end. I made a video called Get Mechanical Now or Be Hard Stuck in 2024. I see the comments from you advanced players. If you want advanced mechanics to train, go click that video, skip to the end, skip to the last like two minutes, and you'll find the two training packs I'm using to get SSL. 